The smallest of the major surface warships in the world's navies are designated as corvettes. Despite being small, corvettes tend to excel at at least one aspect of naval warfare. In this video, I will be discussing the top 10 corvettes currently serving in the world. Because corvettes tend to specialize in just one key function, and may serve totally different missions to each other, it is very difficult to compare them. Therefore, this list is not a ranking. I repeat, this is not a ranking. This is simply a list of the 10 best designed Corvette classes out there. The number in which they appear don't really matter. And because the number doesn't matter, we'll start at number 1. Number 1, Ada class. The Ada class of the Turkish Navy is designed for anti-submarine warfare. At 2400 tons displacement, the Ada class is on the large end of the scale for Corvette. It is the initial step of Turkey's Milgram project, its national warship construction program that aims to build naval ships using domestic resources as far as possible. The Milgram project focuses on reducing Turkey's dependence on Western technology for its navy, especially those from the United States, owing to past experiences with American armed sanctions. The Ada class is powered by a combined diesel and gas propulsion powering two shafts, or propellers. The ship uses its diesel engines for low-speed cruising and combines the diesel and the gas engines for high-speed cruising. The Ada class has a TBT-01 Yakimos hull-mounted sonar, a domestically developed medium-frequency sonar for finding and tracking underwater threats. Anti-submarine armaments consist of six lightweight torpedo tubes and two triple-tube launchers, armed with the Mark 46 lightweight torpedo. The Corvette also has aviation facilities to deploy one S-70 Seahawk helicopter, which can deal with submarines using their own sonoboys and torpedoes. The Ada class features a torpedo defense system that launches countermeasures to neutralize torpedo threats. Number 2. Bronzevig class. The Bronzevig class known as the K-130 that stands for Corvette 130, is Germany's newest class of ocean-going Corvette. Germany plans to acquire 10 of these vessels. The five units were built between 2004 and 2007. A second batch, consisting of five more vessels, was ordered in 2016, and is scheduled to finish by 2025. The Bronzevig class makes a real effort to increase the stealth capability of the ship, especially compared with its predecessor, the Gearpart class. The Bronzevig class features a radar signature reducing shape and engine exhaust that lowers the infrared signature. Displacing 1840 tons, the K-130 is powered by two diesel engines driving two propellers. It has aviation facilities and a helipad to accommodate rotary drones, or helicopter UAVs, for remote scouting. The hangar is too small for a standard helicopter, although the helipad can take one, if necessary. The Bronzeburg class is armed for general patrol, and as such, they have four fire-and-forget anti-ship missiles. They also have the Otto Malara 76mm main gun. Close range air defense is fulfilled by two rolling airframe missile launchers, with 21 missiles each. Number 3. SAR-6 The Israeli Navy's SAR-6 Corvette are designed based on the aforementioned Bronzevik class. In May 2015, the Israeli government ordered four vessels from German naval shipyards. They were built very quickly between 2018 and 2019, and all were commissioned into the Israeli Navy by the end of 2023. While the SAR-6 is based on the Bronzeburg class, there were engineering changes to accommodate an Israeli-designed ASAR radar, 
an upgrade from the PISA radar on the original German warship, and the Israeli-designed Barrack 8 surface-to-air missiles, and of course, the naval Iron Dome air defense system. The resulting SAR-6 is heavily armed, and certainly much more heavily armed than the original Brunswick. The SAR-6 has 32 vertical launching cells for the Barrack 8 medium-range air defense missile, and 40 more vertical launching cells for the naval Iron Dome short-range air defense missiles. On top of that, there are 16 anti-ship missiles of a domestic origin. Like the original K-130, the SAR-6 also has the Otto Malara 76mm gun. Just how the Israelis managed to get all these weapons and an ASAR radar onto a single corvette, I got no idea. But the SAR-6 is one of the most heavily armed corvettes in the world, especially in the realm of anti-air warfare. Number 4. Visby Class The Visby Class, a class of five ships, serves with the Swedish Navy. This is a small corvette at just 640 tons. As you can see, the Visby's design emphasizes low visibility as a stealth warship, with a highly compact design and the aspect angles aimed at reducing the radar signature. A hidden aft engine exhaust helps with lowering the infrared signature. The hull is constructed out of composite materials, with good radar absorption and a flat surface leading to a lower radar signature, and good insulation of heat further reducing the infrared signature. The composites are also very strong relative to their weight meaning a higher top speed and maneuverability, which is very important for the Baltic Sea, in which the Swedish Navy typically operates. The barrel of the 57mm cannon can also be folded for stealth purposes. The Visby is armed for a combination of anti-surface and anti-air warfare. It has eight anti-ship missiles mounted inside a stealth missile launcher, and 32 of the Sea Scepter surface-to-air missiles for short to medium-range air defense. The Visby class has mine warfare capabilities. It is able to deploy mines and to engage in mine clearance to some extent, which is important for littoral warfare in the Baltic Sea. Number 5. Steraguchi class. The Steraguchi class corvette also known as the Project 20380 Corvette, were one of the first new classes of Russian warships designed after the fall of the Soviet Union. The Steraguchi class is designed for littoral combat, chiefly for defense against submarine threats. The nuclear-powered submarines of the Russian Navy, when exiting their naval bases, are vulnerable to detection by foreign submarines. Small anti-submarine warships like the Steraguchi are built in large numbers to ward off foreign submarines, so that Russian subs can reach the open ocean undetected. The Steraguchi class is a large corvette, displacing 2,200 tons, fully loaded. It uses a diesel propulsion powering two propellers, and these engines are fully domestic making them impervious to things like sanctions and war. The ship has a modern appearance, with a clear effort at stealth. To deal with submarine threats, the Steraguchi has eight torpedo tubes and two quad launchers. These torpedoes have a dual function. They can target enemy submarines and also the incoming torpedoes fired by the enemy, basically functioning as a torpedo defense. The Steraguchi has an anti-submarine missile for standoff engagement. It also has the S-350 naval air defense system, capable of medium-range air defense, albeit with limited ammunition in 12 VLA cells. Number 6. Gramyashi The Gramyashi class Project 20385 is an upgrade of the aforementioned Steraguchi class. 
Displacing around 2,500 tons, they are much larger than the Steraguchi and has been classified as a frigate by NATO. The Gremyashi corvette features the large space to enable greater habitability for long endurance missions and the capability to launch larger and far more lethal cruise missiles than their predecessor. The Gremyashi retains all the armaments of its predecessor, the Steraguchi, including the torpedoes, the anti-submarine missile, the AK-630M Seawars, the S-350 Naval Air Defense System, and the medium-range anti-air missiles. In addition, the Gremyashi installed a UKSK vertical launching system for firing supersonic and hypersonic anti-ship missiles. The supersonic missiles include the Onyx and the Caliber in the terminal phase. The hypersonic missile is the Zircon, a newly introduced weapon for the Russian Navy. The Zircon travels at a speed of between Mach 5 and 9 and is powered by a scramjet engine, and reportedly is stealthy during the cruise phase. Many believe that the Zircon cannot be intercepted reliably by current naval defences. Number 7. Type 056A The Type 056A is one of the contributing factors to the expansion of Chinese naval power over the last decade. There were originally two variants of the class. One is the baseline Type 056 model for general patrol, the other is the Type 056A used for anti-submarine warfare. The 20 ships of the original Type 056 have been transferred to the Chinese Coast Guard, leaving the 50 anti-submarine warships, the 056A, in the PLA Navy. These ships have been produced in large numbers, and they wrestle control of the first island chain from submarine threats. The Corvette displaces 1,500 tons, with a maximum speed of 25 knots, enabled by a diesel propulsion. The Type 056A is well equipped with sonar systems. In addition to a standard hull-mounted sonar, the ship has a towed array sonar and a variable depth sonar, for greatly expanded underwater detection. The Corvette has a helipad for a Z9C helicopter, but no hangar. The helicopter would again be used mainly for anti-submarine duties. The Type 056A has some self-defense capabilities, in the form of a short-range SAM launcher, a 76mm main gun, and four anti-ship missiles. Number 8. Kamorta Class the Kamorta class, or Project 28, is the Indian Navy's most recent anti-submarine warfare corvette. They are one of the first vessels built by India that has stealth as a major consideration. Displacing 3,300 tons full load and with a crew of 123, they are closer to the size of a full frigate rather than a corvette. They are powered by combined diesel and diesel propulsion. For underwater detection, they are fitted with a towed array sonar in addition to the standard hull mounted sonar. Anti submarine armaments consist of a pair of the Russian origin RBU 6000 depth charge launchers, which can also target incoming torpedoes plus the standard heavy torpedoes that are typically used by Indian Navy warships for anti-submarine warfare. Additionally, the ship has the facilities to support one helicopter, normally the Russian Karmov Ka-28 anti-submarine helo. Self-defense capability consists of the Russian origin AK-630M Seawars, and the Otto Malara 76mm gun. Number 9. Buyang M. The Project 21630, or the Buyang M class, is a series of small missile corvettes, or in the Russian classification, artillery ships. 
There are means to operate in the shallow waters of Western Russia, such as the Baltic and the Black Seas, and the Caspian Sea as well. The Buyan class is built to replace the highly renowned Nanuchka class small missile ships of the old Soviet Union. The original Buyan class, at just 520 tons, lacked cruise missiles of any sort, and as such, they are considered to be underarmed by the Russian Navy. The Buyan M, displacing 950 tons, is the upgraded variant that is armed with anti-surface cruise missiles, including the Caliber and the Onyx. Additionally, the ship has an ASA active phased array radar. In 2015, Buyan M Corvette on multiple occasions fired the land attack version of the Caliber missiles from the Caspian Sea against the Islamic State in Raqqa and Aleppo in Syria. The weapons flew nearly 1,500 kilometers before striking their target. The Buyan M packs a huge amount of firepower in a fairly small vessel, making it a fearsome littoral warship. Number ten, Sigma class. The Sigma class is a family of surface warships built by the Dutch naval shipbuilder Damon Group. They are designed exclusively for export. Now, this is going to sound very corporate, but here goes. Sigma stands for Ship Integrated Geometrical Modular Approach, where ships are built out of various segments or components. Design of the Sigma warships can vary in very different ways, depending on which components are chosen and the order they are placed. The Corvette version of the Sigma class has been purchased and put into service by the Indonesian Navy in the form of a general-purpose patrol vessel, displacing 1,700 tons and powered by diesel engines. The Indonesian vessel has strong endurance and range, and reasonable top speed. At one point, Indonesia was about to equip the ships with the Chinese anti-ship missile, the C-802, but eventually decided on the French Exocet, and instead used its C-802 inventory on other naval assets. So there you have it. The top ten most capable corvettes in the world. They may be small, but they can be very effective if used in the right way. Do you agree with this list? Are there any other corvettes that should be on this list? Let me know in the comment section. Happy New Year's, and I wish you a very successful and pleasant 2024.